We finally got our hands on the monthly report for the Persistent Universe. We're going straight into it. Before we get into this video, I'd like to let y'all know what I'm doing a giveaway for the LTI Argo Atlas. In order to participate, all you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment in any video between now and the end of December. Let's get straight into it. All right, guys. So CIG just posted the monthly reports and we've gotten some interesting new information that I think will be interesting to you. All right, so let's just go straight through it under ai tech it says here the ai tech team has begun september focusing on server meshing including how ai systems and component synchronization during server transitions performance improvements were also made alongside progress on features that will be unveiled shortly what features will this be it seems like this is going to be something that we'll probably see during citizen con so that's going to be interesting under ai features it says uh with the upcoming release of Star Citizen Alpha 4.0, AI features team focuses on locking down existing human combat features, including first reaction ammo management and tactics. Under animation, um, additional work was done on Copian and other creatures. I'm curious, what are these other creatures? Probably the space whale. I think it might be the space whale. <laughs> the um, under character art, um, the character art team progressed with the utility and specialist armor um new heads uh for the character customizer and tasks for the iae event interesting the character uh concept art team continue exploring fauna interesting i've always said i'm really curious to see what these utility and specialist armors will look like i really want to see more civilian based um armor so i'm really excited for that under ship art the vehicle content team moved several vehicles into their final phases including the rsi polaris and several unannounced ships so there are several unannounced ships that are going into the final stage meaning straight to flyable that's that's what i read from this so uh, that's super exciting uh, to hear hopefully some of these are big ships too so we can uh instead of just starter ships and stuff like that so let's see um, the team also prepared to kick off another series of vehicles. Under the core gameplay, it says September saw further work on jump points, including improvements to tunnel, wall force, and failure uh, behavior. Uh, the team also expanded various designer controlled values to better control how the jump point opening and traversal sequence is triggered. Alongside this, improved visuals were added at the tunnel exit really interesting stuff um, gameplay wise jump drives now use quantum fuel in the tunnel fuel requirement is per jump so that means if you don't have enough fuel to make the full jump it probably will not let you jump it seems like um, it says here uh, though each drive has an efficient modifier and ifcs now takes time to come back online after a jump so your ship would even be fully functional in terms of flying around when it comes out of the um, wormhole so that's interesting <laughs> that's actually going to be pretty bad uh, if uh, you run into pirates right at the end of a, a jump hole right all right so the jump point um are currently with the qa uh, for testing the team also improved the item destruction and repair behavior uh, when implemented when a player destroys an item, it will be removed from the network and added back in if repaired. Interesting. Progress continue on radar and scanning, including Delta signatures. This includes a temporary AR marker that will show when detecting a Delta signature. If the contact is pinned or locked, the existing AR marker updates temporarily. New UI binds were added to enable the designers to customize the player facing ui in related development the radar jammer will now prevent scan waves interesting uh, while fps radar scanning went through the various rounds of play testing various and reviews to improve the overall experience the mission system refactor uh, mentioned in previous reports continue throughout september now missions can be played through to completion using the full mission service implementation while medical and rescue service beacons are functional using the new system too 
Interesting. Under economy, it says the economy team continued their ongoing work on Pyro and began implementing some of the balancing changes mentioned in the previous monthly report. They've been doing this forever, man. Mission design. Uh, mission design continue working on location repair mission, moving some of them into a handyman archetype. Uh, work also begun on improving new player experience that accommodates more fundamental game mechanics. For example, teaching players about item banks, freight elevators, respawn flow, components, repair, gameplay, master modes, and more. On the narrative, the narrative team continued their support for Alpha 4.0 upcoming missions. Uh, they will provide text uh, for a really exciting upcoming mission. Really exciting upcoming mission. What would this be? I wonder, would this be the contested zone that they're talking about? We'll have to see. Online technology says the online service team begun uh, September work working on features for Alpha 4.0, including several updated missions and marker systems. Throughout September, the network team prepared to bring server meshing to the PU. Nice. Uh, they also supported the various gameplay teams, helping to get their feature server meshing ready and improve the robustness of authority transfer between servers. Really nice. Under UI, the UI team focused on multiple screens for the Pyro system while continuing uh, to close collaborations with the core gameplay pillar on jump points and resource network. Really interesting stuff. Super excited, super stoked to see what we're going to see. I think a lot of the stuff that we just uh, went through, we're going to be probably be seeing them in uh, the Citizen Con event and further down into the year end. So uh, you guys let me know in the comments down below what excites you the most about what we just covered. Before I let you go, I'd like to let y'all know that my organization, Phase 1 Industries, is now recruiting new and veteran players. If you're interested, you can find our Discord in the description down below. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one.